Hi, welcome to Hard to Art. Today I'm going to be drawing an anime girl. Here's the picture. And here are the materials I'm going to use. I have a sketchbook, some pencils, and an eraser, and a ruler. First I'm starting off with the chin, drawing a V, a v shape. Then I'm spreading the lines out and then drawing two other lines on top of the V. Now I'm going to the neck and as the lines go, um, as the lines go down, they go inward. And then I'm going to the collar and adjusting the lines. Now I'm adjusting the face a little and then going to the strand next to her face. Now I'm, there, I'm making that a little taller and then connecting that to the bangs. The bangs are, I'm making a little curved. I'm drawing the ear and adjusting the strand. Next I'm drawing the strand next to the ear, which is one of the long strands. It's it's a main strand. And the part of the hair containing the strand has um, three strands, so I'm drawing the first one. And now I'm going back to the collar and making it longer. Then I'm going to the hair, the back hair. Now I'm going to the... Um, the left main strand, which contains only two strands. Then 
the strand on the right is longer than the strand on the left so I'm making like making it like that too and then there's like hidden hair behind that main strand so I'm drawing that but now I'm adjusting the lines I'm drawing the um, the short strand on the left of her face, which is also connected to, to the bangs. Now I'm going to back to the left main strand and adjusting the lines. I'm going to to that strand hidden behind the main strand. And that's connected to the top of the head. So now I'm drawing a bit of the top hair. Now I'm drawing a few details in the um left strands and connecting the left strand to the hair. And the bangs are all the same height so I'm erasing the ends of the strands. Now I'm going back to the left hair and adjusting the lines. Now I'm going to the left ear and then drawing the back hair. And here I'm adjusting the lines. Now I'm drawing the shoulder and adjusting the neck, making it thinner. I'm also moving the, the part after the neck a little up. And adjusting the hair next to it. And I'm adjusting the face too. Now I'm going back to adjusting the collar. I'm going back to the shoulder and I'm making the arm now. Then there's a, cur a curve that defines the arm, so I'm drawing that. And I'm drawing all the wrinkles too. And now I'm connecting the wrinkles to the rest of the arm.
Now I'm drawing the right arm and all of its wrinkles too. I'm continuing on to draw the arm. And I'm making the hair too. And it's like there are two strands, but then there's also a, th um, a line between the two strands, so that makes it three. So now I'm continuing on with that, um, the very last strand. And here I'm adjusting the strand a little at the bottom. And here I realized that I made the shoulder a little too far in. So I'm adjusting it. Basically before I'm erasing it, I'm copying it so that I don't lose the shape. And I'm putting it a little more outward. Again, I'm copying the shape so that I don't lose it before erasing it. Now I'm adjusting the left arm a little. Now there's a line exactly at the center of the shirt, so I'm drawing that. There are a few wrinkles with that too, so I'm drawing them. Again, I'm adjusting the arm, the left arm. I'm going back to the wrinkles on the shirt. And then drawing that center line again.
there's a gap between the bottom and the top part so and the top part um, it's really curved so I'm doing that now I'm making the buttons on the right side and there are tiny little dots in them too so I'm drawing them too there are a few wrinkles beside that so I'm drawing them and adjusting the arm Now I'm going to the mouth. And since I wanted the mouth in proportion, I did erase the mouth and then I and then I drew guidelines. I use the ruler for this, but you don't have to if you don't want to. So now I'm drawing where the mouth is. And I'm trying to make the chins on my mine and the original picture to match up so that I can connect them. at least connect them with an imaginary line. So now I'm drawing the mouth or the guideline for that and then drawing the mouth. And I'm adjusting the chin a little because I decided it was um, pretty long, so I'm making it a bit short. And I'm adjusting the ear. Here I'm drawing the guideline for the eyes. The eyes are at the half or a half are at the half of the face. And I'm going from the bottom of the eye to the top of the eye. Basically the iris is just a, pu um, a circle. And then the top of the eye um, is a bit is it's sort of hovering over it I'm adjusting that a little
the side of the eye it's um, pretty thick so I'm drawing that Then there are some highlights in the eye, so I'm making the whole eye dark except for the highlights. And I'm not making it too dark in case I mess up. Here I'm adjusting the bangs a little. I'm all, I also drew the eyebrow. Now I'm drawing the right eye and I'm doing the exact same thing as I did on the left eye. I'm adjusting the bottom of the eye a little. I'm adjusting the strands of the hair and, um, and a few of the wings. Now I'm drawing the inside of the iris. And then I'm coloring, coloring the inside of the eye except for the highlights. And then I'm drawing the right eyebrow. Now I'm drawing the top of the head, which is basically just the top of a circle. And sorry about that you can't sorry that you can't see what I'm doing here. I didn't realize that the camera didn't capture it. But what I'm doing is I'm doing the body next to the arms and drawing the third button that I missed.
you can see the original part of the picture so hopefully you can copy that Now I'm adjusting the hair at the top and the top of the head connects to um, the back hair and the main and the, the right main strand um, sort of just it goes into the top hair but not connecting to it. And I'm th drawing the blush. Now I'm drawing the details on the back hair. It's basically just a few lines. Now I'm drawing the rest of the collar. And then drawing the outline of the bow. And now I'm drawing the lines right on top of the bow and drawing the lines inside that. Then, then I'm drawing the ov oval shape, which makes the bow. And then I'm drawing the bottom part of the bow. Here I'm adjusting the hair. I'm adjusting the bow a little. And then I'm adjusting the, the top part of the line in the center of the uniform. adjusting a little of the the arms then I'm drawing the little flaps that come out of the bow and adjusting that um, middle line
here you can see what I'm doing on the bottom but I was just adjusting the lines a little yeah, I'm adjusting the bowl girl too Then I'm drawing the back of the hair and shading it a little. And I'm also adding the little lines inside the bow. I'm also shading it. And you can use graphite pencils for that if you want. And I'm drawing the little, the, the little spikes on the head, but I removed that because I didn't really like it. So here's the final picture. Actually, I'm adjusting the buttons. I'm making them a little dark. So here's the final picture next to the original. Here's um, a close-up of my final picture. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please like, share, and subscribe to my channel for more videos. Thanks for watching and don't forget to check out my other channels. Bye!